forward to this. I was enjoyed conference. Get out somewhere different, meet a load of new people. It's okay, nobody from Weatherfield High. How do you know? Because they give me a list of who's attending. I wouldn't go if there was. Well, do you think you can have a word with Chesney? Because you don't take any notice of me. I mean, this is ridiculous. You're going to a conference about exams and he's refusing to finish it. He will. He's just talk. Yeah, and he means what he says. Yeah, I do. Yeah, and so do I, Ches. I just want you to do better than I have. I'm doing that already. Right, I'm off. No, not before you've had your breakfast, you're not. Sit down. Right, <coughs> I better get going. I'll give you a ring when I know what time we've finished. Okay. Bye bye, love. Bye. So, are you going to school today? Mark it. Oh. So, were you drinking? I've told you. No. So what were you doing then? Look, I don't really think it's the right time to discuss this, is it? I'm not listening. Just tell me, did anything happen with Nick? Well, I didn't hit him, if that's what you mean. But you nearly did. Says who? Anyone who says they never hit somebody always means they nearly did. Look, we'll talk about this later, OK? Come here. Bye-bye, love you. Bye, Dad. Hey, I'm not the one who started this. Oh, no? So you did, then? The one who started making secret deals with her ex-husband. Come on, you want to make it worse. Well, these two seem seriously interested. Yeah, well, so the last two. Anyway, someone's got to be there. You? Oh, you're better than showing folk round than I am. Uh, excuse me, I did it last time. Yeah, well, you've rehearsed it, you know what to say. Right, OK. Bye. See ya. Oh, sorry. Right. See you dinner time. Yeah, right. uh, Hello. Oh, hiya. Sorry. How do you manage to look so fresh and bright first thing in the morning? Do I? Mm. Don't feel it. <laughs> Why not? Nothing's the matter, is there? Oh, no, no, no. Nothing's the matter. Well, you might change your mind when you go in there and encounter Norris. Oh. Hmm. See ya. <laughs> See ya. I've talked to my mum and dad, and uh, they're going to have their share of the money ready this morning. Time I'll pay him back. Well, yeah, I said. So anyway, I've made sure I've got my appointments, so I can nip out and collect it and bring it to you. I don't deserve you, do I? Oh, you deserve the best, and that's me. <laughs> uh, oh, do you want um, check or cash? Uh, well, uh, cash be handier. Okay. I thought you couldn't teach anymore. Uh, well, no. <laughs> you just sneaked in for a free coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm working for the exam board. Oh, and they'll let you do that, will they? Yeah. So long as you don't actually come into contact with any of the kids. Uh, well, no. <laughs> yeah. Wish I could find a job like that. So, how are you anyway? Still happily married? Yeah, yeah. Shame. <laughs> hey, it's great to see you. I thought I wouldn't know anyone and be spending all day on my own. Yeah, I must admit, I didn't see your name on the list. I love the Weatherfield High. I'm not there anymore. You're not? I've moved to Fair Green Comp, do you know it? It's OK, but some of the staff you could just vaporise. And the heads are conservative. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> anyway, Juan, should we sit on the back row? Then we can have a snog if it gets boring. <laughs> you know you want to, come on. Well, you can tell me. What? What happened with Peter last night? What's he said? Not a lot, which is why I'm asking you. He told me he didn't like what I was doing in this place. He liked even less the fact I was doing it with your, let's say, cooperation. I made one phone call. He told me to stay away from you, pair as well. And did everybody in the pub hear that? I'd be surprised if they didn't. <laughs> right. I'm off home now. Where will you be this afternoon? I'll be at home. Get more work done there. OK. I'll see you then. All right, Leon. Yeah, fine. And that was it. 
What's he drinking? <sighs> What's he drinking? If I say yes, he'll be in a lot of trouble, won't he? <sighs> it's tempting. But, uh, no. The truth is, he wasn't. Well, I suppose that's good news. Thanks. Anytime. You know, I've lived down this street for a long time now. Yeah, well, we all have a cross to bear, don't we? Yeah, and I'd, I'd like to think that I'm going to be here for some time to come, but I don't want to spend it in a state of open warfare with my neighbours. No, me neither. So, do you think you could manage to avoid having any more public rows with Nick Tilsley? Can't promise. I've already got his mother blaming me for Tracy trying to get her locked away for the rest of the Yeah, and I'd like life. to get him locked away. Now, that's an attractive idea, isn't it? Oh, I'm just wasting my breath, aren't I? I'm going for a fag. Actually, Deirdre, I wanted to ask you a favour. What? <laughs> it's all right. I can wait till you're in a better mood. <laughs> you might have a long wait. It's the old chestnut. Suppose we've got one essay that's uninspired, plodding even, but it's accurately written. Uh, by which I mean uh, paragraphing, uh, punctuation, spelling, they're all what they should be. Uh, it might even be error-free. Then we've got another essay that's, well... Look who's supposed written, to be here. Witty, original, ambitious... Do you think he's coming all the way from sunny Canada? Mistakes, apostrophes, Must just be a mistake. Like confetti, you can uh, say that again. Spelling, no paragraphs. It's a grammatical traffic accident. I just can't imagine what it's going to be like. Well, isn't it where you talk to someone and then you change round and you talk to someone else? But I know that. I know how it works. It's just like, what kind of people are you going to get? Speed dating at the Rovers? Probably the bright and the beautiful. I mean, I'm thinking of going. You know. I might. All right, don't worry. I won't be wanting to talk to you. I mean, I can talk to you all day, every day, for nothing. Anyway... Enough about speed dating. What's happening with that Cheryl you were fancying? Oh, it's a long story. Well, I'm not going anywhere. No. I might just buy a ticket. I nearly fell asleep. I'm sure you weren't the only one. Oh, excuse me a minute. I'm just going to tell Boss Man how he's got Colin Fishwick down and he shouldn't have. No, please. Don't. Hey. Sorry. Well, why shouldn't I tell him? No reason, really. Just, uh, why bother? John, just what is going on? Oh, dear. No, no. This is terrible. Why? You know something I don't. The reason Colin Fishwick is on that list is... Because it's me. You? I'm using his name. What, just for today? For this conference? Not more than that. What then? Tell me. Nobody here? No, please. please. That's how we have to. Yeah, well, I can't wait. Times that she has a terrible temper. I mean, things not going to her liking, and you get the flashing eyes and a few choice words to follow. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm easy going. I'd work with anybody. It's just she's a different person on different days. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I know. There you go. Oh, oh I'm starving. I'm just seeing seems a bit fed up with me. Well, it might not be you. What do you mean? She's got a lot to be fed up about, hasn't she, with her dad and everything? Yeah, I suppose. Look, take her out, give her a good time. She probably hasn't had one for a long time. Hiya. Yeah, there's your drink. Mm. Have a sandwich, babe. And a good time. Oh, um, do you fancy going somewhere tonight? I don't mind. Well, I just, you know, I thought it'd be nice. 
Yeah, we haven't done something for a while. You're OK. What about the flat? Have you sold it? Um, well, they weren't really interested. Don't know why they bothered even coming around in the first place. Well, maybe I'll have to try harder next time. Sell it to them. Hey, don't be blaming me. Next ones you can show them around, see if you can do any better. I can hardly do any worse. Your mother's on the phone for you. Was that my mother you were talking to? Yeah, which I could go on doing all day. You know, we share the same opinion in almost everything. Really? Well, from what I could hear, you were mainly talking about me. Well, we were. She was telling me all sorts. Stuff I never would have believed. See you later. So, you and Colin, let's hear it. I'm not working for the exam board. That was a lie. I'm teaching in Rochdale. But calling yourself... Colin Fishwick, yeah. So, there you are. You can go and tell the boss man now. Sorry I stopped you before. And this is the truth? Yeah. Wow. Must have been crazy thinking I could ever get away with it. You know what? What? I used to think you were boring. Really? No. This is fantastic. So how did you... I mean, references and qualifications. How did you manage it? Well, it took a bit of doing. I had some help from a friend of mine that I met in prison. Yeah, but the point is, when they did the CRB check... No problem. You are telling me the truth. You're not having me on. The proof's there on your list. Colin Fishwick. That's me. But this is just so... brilliant. And straight away makes you the most exciting man in this room. Three grand. Uh, uh, your parents must think a lot of you. I'm the favourite daughter. Mm. Do you mind if I give George a quick ring? Let him know I've got the money. No, you do that. Oh, and I talked to Dev again. He's promised he's going to give his first refusal on the flat. Uh, Deirdre, you've still got contacts, you know, in the town hall, don't you? People you used to work with and that. Yeah, I wanted to. Right, cos I, uh, I just wondered, you know, if you could make a few discreet inquiries for me. What about? Well, what the rules are on just how many people you can have working on machines in an unfinished bar. You know, fire regulations, health and safety, that, that sort of stuff, that's all. And we all know why you want to know that, don't we? Yeah, because I want to close them down. Absolutely. Yeah, I want to get them out of there. Get one over on Nick Tilsley. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm also thinking about the welfare of the workers here. You know, because we all have a public duty, don't we? And I'm asking you to help to do the right thing, that's all. Oh. Hi. I thought you were supposed to be collecting some. Is it Claire's? Can we have a word? Well, if it's about what I think it's about, then... Please. Just for a minute. OK. What keep him long? Oh. Keep him as long as you like, love. Yeah? Well? I talked to Nick. <sighs> That's the one thing that I asked you not to do. Well, thanks very much. Because I had to. Just like I had to make that call to George. Because? Because you wouldn't. Peter, sometimes you just have to forget what's happened and move on. Oh, I'm not going to argue with that. You know, it's just hard to forget, Lee, when the bloke that we're talking about is the bloke that you used to be married to. A million years ago. Really? Was it? Was it that long? 
All that matters is I'm not with him now. I am with you. I know. And I'm very glad of that, OK? But just think of it from my point of view. Oh, well, I'd rather not, if it means you're going to be all jealous and possessive. If I know you've been talking to him, doing him favours. Oh, for... No, what am I supposed to think? What's any man going to think? Look, all I'm saying, Lee, is please, just be careful. Think how things might appear, OK? To you. To me, to anybody. To anybody who knows you both and sees you together. What are they going to be thinking? And then what kind of pitying looks are they all going to be giving to me, eh? Right. So you're saying if I see him in the street, I can't even speak to him? I have to pretend I don't even know him? No. You can say hello. <laughs> oh, thank you! Oh. No, Peter, you will not control me. I will speak to whoever I like, whenever I like. You got that? And you can put Nick at the top of that list. All right, you will have changed my mind. What? I'm ready to say God. I'm coming to your stupid speed date. What is it you want, a fiver? Which is a very small amount when you think about what it might lead to. I'm thinking, don't you worry. But hang on, Em. Annie's not bought a ticket, has she? Boy, we hope you're going to end up across the table from Eileen. I'm wondering what kind of takers you got here. What sort do you want? Do I have to spell it? Best if you don't. I'll tell you what, if you're not completely satisfied, I'll give me a money back. Cheers. I'm sure. Where have you been hiding all this time? I haven't been hiding. I've been making my sonny's tea. And listen, the next time my mother rings for me, would you mind just, you know, passing the phone straight over instead of spending half an hour slagging me off first? Or... Charming woman, your mother. Does she ever get over visiting? No, never. Actually, I can remember asking her that question now that I come to think of it, and she said she gets over as regular as clockwork. And you know what else she said? Wow. That the next time she comes, she's going to bring pictures of you in your school uniform with your little pigtails and your scabby little knees. Mm -hmm. No, she never. Ask her. I'll do no such thing and neither will you. Hiya. Oh, evening. Do you, uh, do you want to go and sit with him? Uh, no. We're having a night just for us. Doesn't mean we can't be social. Go on. I'll get your lager, yeah? Yeah, please. Don't worry, we're only having one drink and then we'll uh, let you get back to your newspaper. No, you're all right. So, how's your day been? Has Norris been behaving himself? You know the strange thing about working with Norris all day is I'm actually starting to like him. No, <laughs> that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> I know. I'm sure we can get pills for that, you know. <laughs> so, uh, you two off out tonight? Uh, yeah, we're going to see a film. What film? I don't know, we'll see if we can get there. Well. Sounds like you're looking forward to it. Come on. Yeah, I am. I am. So, now you've had some time to think about it. And can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, but, um, I mean... Am I going to blow your cover? All this is because you kidnapped Dozy Plebster. That is why you, one state, can't teach, yeah? Yeah. But you didn't harm her. And you're never going to harm anybody else? Well, I hope not. One, I'm on your side. Wherever you go, I go. Thanks. That's fantastic. And you can show your appreciation by buying me a drink. Oh, um, well, I'd love to, but um, right now I have to go home. <laughs> not yet you don't. Oh, yeah, right. OK. How many collars did you sell? Only 18. It's always a slow day, is Wednesday. Cos folk are running out of money. It'll pick up for the weekend. Uh, how come you know so much? I talk to the other traders. And they know more than any teachers. Do you think they do? Anyway, I've put an order in for a load of funky accessories. I think they're what's going to take me on to a whole new level. Oh, do ya? Right, hang on. Let me just answer this and then I'll start on our tea, yeah? Hiya. Hi, love. So where are you? Uh, well, that's why I'm ringing, cos I'm, I'm going to be a bit late. The conference is over, but there's an extra session I'd quite like to stay on for. Oh. OK. 
Okay, well, yeah, you do that. So, has everything gone all right? Fine. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've enjoyed it. Oh, oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll see you when I see you. Which I hope won't be too late, will it? No. Um, just another hour or two. Mm. Bye, then. I love you. Bye. You know, you are a terrific liar. Just seeing you in action then. I can imagine how you got away with this whole Colin thing. It's not something I enjoy doing. Of course you do. You must do. I think how dull your life would be if you weren't living someone else's. Anyway, I now want the full story. How you got the job. How you get your salary paid. Oh, and what surprised me, I gather from what I've just heard, your wife knows all about it, does she? Yeah. Well, she had to. I wouldn't have thought she was the type who'd be up for it. Well, she took some piss reading. I'll bet. I say your wife. She married John Stape. Whereas the man I'm looking at is Colin Fishwick, who hasn't got a wife at all. All he's got is me. Lucky him. Now then, a long journey next here on ITV1 to gather the truth. That's Midsummer Murders. On ITV2, someone bears a grudge with a mechanical digger in New Homes from Hell and its fantasy adventure Dollhouse. Over on ITV4 next.